You know, when I first moved into the penthouse, you know, everything was chaotic. I just moved out of my dad's house, downtown Toronto, and I didn't have any system set up to contribute to my success. I was kind of waking up whenever, and I didn't have even my office set up properly. I didn't have the system to go to the gym, my health, anything like that. And I didn't really have anything to like really reinforce my success and you know propel me into action. And I was kind of just doing these things chaotically, you know, waking up not on, in a systematized way. And um, my health, the way I was eating was kind of just I'd eat randomly, order Uber Eats, those kind of things. And I didn't have a process to actually you know allow me to actually get success or contribute to it. You know, systems are really key to have in all aspects of your life, not just with your business, but also with your relationships, with your health, how you eat, your gym, your schedule, everything needs to be systematized. So it can, you just optimize for default. So you just wake up, it's your default setting in the morning, default setting when you get it to your desk at work, and you just optimize and to get the best possible results you need within your business. And so the very first thing is, really define systems so you can get a really accurate scope of what they are and how you can start to optimize your life for them. So basically what a system is, is it's basically components optimized to achieve an outcome. So if you think about anything in this world, like even you look at nature, so the ecosystem, that's probably the best system to study because everything kind of works interconnectedly to achieve an outcome, which is for everything to live and survive, right? And so you can look at also a human being. You have the respiratory system, you have the neural system, you have like the bloodstream, that kind of system. Everything systems in your body, in nature, and as well as in your life, you need to have systems that support your success. And so one thing I did was I knew for me to actually, if I, for me to be productive and me to actually have a process in my business to succeed in, I needed to first get my home and my life kind of systematized. So the first thing I did was systematize my sleep schedule. So I set set times and on my phone so I can wake up on time as well as my food. So how I was eating. So I scheduled that out and on Sundays I would meal prep my food so that I could just optimize for that and I didn't have to think about it. I just wake up lunchtime comes and I eat food, right? And um, that's what most people don't get. You need to systematize that aspect of it as well as um, your gym. So if you're going to the gym, systematizing that. So one thing that you can do to systematize and what I did was I put my gym bag out at nighttime. So before I go to bed, gym bag, all my gym clothes laid out and I just wake up, put it on, go to the gym. And I have a set time I go to the gym, set time I come back and it just reinforced that. And once I got those aspects in, in alignment with my food and my sleep and my health, and one thing to get things off your mind too is like systematizing your relationships is a big one. So on Sundays, um, I really spend time with my family. So I block time out to go see my dad and my mom and my brother and um, as well as my grandpa, all those kind of things as well as relationships. So during the week, I have set, set times in my schedule where I call them up and I you know, just stay on top of it. And so I can have that and I prioritize that. Once all that, once my sleep, my health, relationships are all prioritized, now I can focus on the business and all my mental energy can go 100% focused on my business and now you need to systematize your business. So the first thing you need to do, what, what I did was, is systematizing how am I attracting clients? So how can I get clients to attract to me to generate them as a qualified appointment? So you need to have a system to actually get them onto your phone call or spark some interest or attract them to you. And one thing you need to do is, you know, find out where your clients are and systematize the proce process and with least resistance. So you want to have the least the, the pathway to release resistance to get them onto a phone call. So it's like a slippery slope. They're just coming at you and they see you as that expert and that you can just get them onto a phone call and that's systematized. You know how you're going to book them onto a sales appointment. And then once you have that system in place of getting them onto a call, it's about systematizing the sales process. So actually systematizing how you convert them into a paying client, right? And so you create a system there. And you have a system for each part of your business. And then once you close them, how do you systematize the back end? So the service delivery to get them the result that you're, they're looking for, right? So all these systems have to come into alignment and for you to produce a predictable, repeatable result that's gonna come within your business as well as your clients and your life. So everything's just systematized and it runs like a well-oiled machine. And one of the example I wanna give you is Henry Ford when he first brought the Model T to like production was he created an assembly line. He was one of the first person to create the assembly line. So basically he systematized the process of this person just does this one thing in the business to do a part really well, right? And so for example, in your business, you may have like a niche market and what you're gonna be selling. If you can systematize that, 
as well as a client attraction, then you can move them down the assembly line to actually convert them into a client, right? And so once you have that system, it's like you put an input in and you get an output out, right? And so you just have inputs and outputs in the environment. So all these things just go into the thing and they have that feedback, right? So you just keep making the system better to get the results that you want, right? And you keep feeding it back along in that feedback loop to really just optimize the system, make it more efficient, make it more productive, and make sure that you're getting the result you're looking for, right? Because at the end of the day, it's just components that are organized to produce a result. That's what a system is. So if you organize and you systematize the process to achieve the result, you're gonna be reiterating and improving on the system and the components and the process and the organization of those to produce the result that you're looking for. So it goes back into all the aspects of your life, not just with the business, but also with the health, relationships, food, all that stuff. Because once that's out of the way, put all your mental focus on the actual process of getting results for your own business and your clients. And then the last thing is, you know, what gets measured gets improved, right? So you need to track, you need to analyze, and you need to make improvements on the system. Like I said, so keep feeding that into a feedback loop as well as having you know, different metrics for you to track. So in your life, it's about what time you wake up, how much sl sleep do you get, as well as you know, um, what time do you go to the gym, for how long, how many days a week do you go for, right? So you have to track all those different things within your life, as well as you know, do you do meditation, do you do all these things, right? And another aspect of it is in business. So if you reach out to this many people, how many people are gonna book onto a call with you? And then once you get them onto the call, how many are actually closing into new clients? And then what is the rate of success? What's the churn rate? What, what is those metrics in your business? So you can optimize and improve that, right? If you're getting high churn, if you're running a digital marketing agency, then you need to you know, obviously improve that by you know, systematizing maybe the onboarding, expectations, or even just getting the result, right? So working better on that system there, or it's about closing them. If you're closing at a low rate, how can you systematize that in a better way to close at a higher percentage, right? So once you have these metrics to track, you know where you can improve the system, optimize, and so you can you know, make it better and just have the system more efficient to achieve that outcome you want to have, right? So you have to have metrics and track your performance, track like specific things within your business and your life to really optimize that. And so that's one of the biggest things. What gets measured gets improved. And once you improve those, you can continuously feed them back through and just have a well-oiled machine with your life and your business to achieve you know, that quantum results, that geometric growth that you're looking for.